Hi everybody, uh, I'd like to talk about uh, WordPress some more and working on our WordPress theme. And uh, you know, the question came up about slideshows and somebody pointed out that the, uh, I think it was Nathania pointed out that the uh, the meta slider was really good. So I thought I'd take a look at it and it looks pretty cool. So I thought I'd do a, a video on it. Um, so anyway, here I am in my WordPress site and I want to install a new plugin and test it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, my admin panel and I'll go to plugins, add new. And then the plugin that I want to search for is called meta slider. Okay, and then here we are. It says Meta Slider. Wow, it gets five stars for 304 reviews, 600,000 plus active installs. Must be good, right? Um, compatible with our version of WordPress. Um, so what I'll do is uh, they have actually a couple versions of this too. Um, there's a there's a um, a pay one and a free one. So you can you can pay if you want more features, but the free ones seem to do pretty pretty well. So. I'm going to uh, click on the, the Install Now button, and then WordPress runs through its installation, and then I'll click, when it's finished, I'll click Activate Plugin. And there we are. So then it says Simple Image Sizes, oh wait, Meta Slider, here it is, right? And um, Meta Slider just adds its own menu to the, to the list here, so you'll see Meta Slider at the bottom. So if you want to edit Meta Slider, just click on the name here, and then it'll show up. I actually created a slideshow earlier, so my slideshow shows up here. If you, you'll, yours will probably be empty when you first start it, right? But uh, if you want to create a slideshow, uh, click on the plus button here, and then it'll start a new slideshow. And you can click here to add slides. And over on this side where it says settings, you can set the width and height and the effect for your slides. So uh, maybe I want to make my slides, you know, 1180 by 590, you know, or you can make them larger. Maybe I'll make them a little bit larger. I'll do um, 1180 by 700, okay? And then, uh, you know, obviously images need to be at least this size in order to fit the slider, right? So I'll, I'll do 1180 by 700. We can do fade or slide right. Um, I guess these other ones that are grayed out, you, those you have to pay for, right? But, uh, you know, you could do slide. Maybe I'll just do slide like that, right? And then you can choose a theme, and they have a couple themes here. And then uh, they've got an arrow. So I, I suppose this means if you want to show the arrows on either side, and then they have navigation, you can say it's hidden, or you can show the dots. And then I don't know what these are. These are probably just different um, versions of the slider. You know, I'm going to just go with the flex slider. And then they have advanced settings here, and there's some options in here that you can set. So you can say stretch or center align, autoplay, smart crop, you know. There's a few things. There's a timing option in here, too, to set, like, how long, you know, it takes between slides. So 3,000 milliseconds. So right now it's three seconds per slide, okay? So anyway, so there's your options there, right? And at the very bottom here, it says usage. So the short code down here, you can put directly into the content for your template, which is really nice. So for the slide show that I'm going to create here, I'll just copy this block of code and paste it into my theme. So I'll do that in a moment. Um, so first of all, let's add some slides. So if I want to create a slide, I can click Add Slide. And then maybe I want to create sort of a fashion show slide thing. So I'm going to grab um, these people here. I'll get that one. And this guy and this girl here and this one and maybe I want to get these people I'm gonna get rid of that guy yeah maybe maybe I'll create a slideshow of, of these right um, and then I'll click add to slider and then it'll take a moment here waiting for it to show up. It'll, it'll take a second to, to add all the slides. There we go, right? And then for the slides, you can set the caption or a URL. Um, luckily, it's grabbing all the captions that were imported with the pictures, so that's kind of nice. And then if you want to set the cropping option, you can click on this and you can say how the images are going to crop. So I think I'm going to switch these to top center 
Um, sometimes it still doesn't crop them quite right, um, but uh, that's okay. You know, it's kind of cropping them automatically. I mean, some you know, in some cases, you'll need to just crop the image yourself and import it with the cropping that you want. Um, and that's just the way life is, right? Because, uh, you know, the computer can only do so much. It's just not that smart. Right. Do, 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 let's see here. Let's do... Uh, Maybe I'll make these all top center because my my size that I chose is sort of landscape. So I want to crop and get the person's head in the picture. Otherwise, it looks a little weird, right? So, uh, but anyway, you know, you can crop these however you want. Um, you know, and again, the cropping is also sort of dependent on the dimensions and the size of the original file, right? So we'll save all that and then... I'm going to click Save here, and that'll take a moment while it goes through and sets the settings there. And then there's an option at the top here that says Save and Preview. So if you want to test your slideshow, you can click Save and Preview, and it'll open your slideshow up here, and then you can see it, right? So there it is. It's running, and then you can see everybody's cropped at the top edge, right? So that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks all right. I mean, this font is obviously not the font that I want to be using. Um, but, you know, we can we can style that later. Or you can style that. Um, but anyway, there we go. So that's my slideshow. I think it's looking pretty good. And you saw the dots at the bottom, right? So that's, that's the dots option here. So now to get the slideshow to appear in a post or a page, what you can do is you can copy the short code here. Just copy this little block. It's got a square bracket on either side, so you need to make sure you get that square bracket. So essentially, we're just saying meta slider ID, and then every slideshow will have a, a unique ID. And you can add new slideshows here by clicking the plus button, right? So I'll go to, uh, let's say, a page here, and uh, maybe I'll just add a new page for testing the meta slider. So I'll say test meta slider, right? And then I'll just paste the short code here, right? And then, uh, you know, what you can do is you can click this uh, View Page button here and then test it on your on your site. Hey, let me go back there. Maybe it didn't um, get, yeah, I guess I got to save the draft. Let me paste that in here again and then click Save Draft, and then we'll test it, okay? So now I'll, I'll click Test here, um, and there's my slideshow. Do, do, do. Let's get the little arrows there. So that's working pretty good. Right. So anyway, there's a simple slideshow for you guys. And if you want to add that to a post, you can just find a post on your site here and you would do the same thing. So maybe um, maybe I want to add that slideshow to social calendar. So I'll click edit and social calendar already has all this stuff in here so I can decide where I want to put the slideshow. Maybe I'll put it at the top of the page here and I'll paste the um, meta slider short code in here and then update. And then if I want to view this page or this post, I'll click view post and then the slideshow should appear at the top. I forgot, I have, um, I also on this page, I created my own slideshow. So this is my slides up here. This is the meta slider, right? Um, this page also, the template, um, the column width is set to 80%. So it kind of looks like the meta slider's um, responsive. So it kind of squeezed the 1180 size images to fit the, the column. But anyway, I hope that's useful to you guys and explains how to do that. Um, and good luck with your projects.